What is mainstream? What does that even mean anymore? It's confusing, although I have taken mostly a particular viewpoint on it that I'll describe later. People's definition of mainstream certainly varies quite a bit depending on their political viewpoints. Some people on the left would try to argue that MAGA is mainstream, that misogyny is mainstream, that racism is mainstream, that homophobia is mainstream, that traditionalism is mainstream. Other people try to say that intersectionality, identity politics, and progressivism is mainstream because you find it in HR departments, you find it in universities, you find it in Hollywood, you find it in TV cable news, except for Fox News and maybe some of the business news channels. You find it on Twitter and Facebook. And in some fields, you can even lose your job if you make it clear that you disagree with any of it. For me, the latter describes how I feel about what mainstream means anymore. Sure, there's absolutely some traditionalism left. But when progressivism is inserted into so many places in people's lives, how can you claim that's not mainstream? Or is pretty much everyone expected to convert to progressivism, or it's not mainstream? And then, of course, if they don't convert, they'll be considered one of the many labels given to them, and then get told that they're supporting the white supremacist patriarchy. Now, some of the arguments are about how much power different groups have, and that right now, traditionalists have the power. And sure, traditionalists right now have a lot of governmental power. But how much does that kind of power actually affect our culture? Sure, you can try to claim that HR departments, universities, TV cable news, Hollywood, late-night talk shows, Facebook, Twitter... Yeah, you can claim that those things have no power, but you'd be wrong. A long and agonizing debate can be had about who has more power. But let's just make it clear that both types of power are pretty damn significant. Another thing is how, since social media and smartphone culture has come into place so strongly, mindsets that used to be complete fringe are now in the forefront and things that used to be commonly accepted are considered archaic and depressive. And when I'm talking about fringe ideas and such, I'm not just talking about progressive ideas. I'm also talking about ideas that we thought were dead and gone. We were thankful that we thought they were dead and gone. People who hold true to themselves, who hold on to older values, will find it oppressive when people try to force them to change their ways. I mean, look, as long as we're not talking about people who think it's oppressive to stop them from oppressing others, we shouldn't be going out of our way to try to change the way that people live. And the thing is, not everything traditional is crap, and not everything that is progressive is just great. Also, people have gotten used to social media in places like YouTube, where people come together about mutually hated things. It doesn't matter how obscure or strange something is that you hate. You're likely to get followers and or people who just generally agree with you. And unfortunately, it's much easier to get people to come together on something they hate versus something that they love. And people are used to getting instant input, likes and dislikes, instant gratification. And that certainly changed our culture. And I certainly don't think it's for the better. And if you're really, really good at roasting the things that you hate while still following the rules of a website, you can make some money. But what is mainstream? Well, that depends on who you ask.